Hey guys, this is Gunfolk bringing you another gun video. This is part two of the Taurus BT-111. Alright, for some reason my uh, previous video shut off on me. However, I'm going to just continue in this one. So, just to get straight to the point, this gun is chambered in 9mm. It has an overall height of 5.1 inches, an overall barrel length of 3.2 inches, width straight across is 1.1 inches, it does have a manual safety. The trigger is a, a total of 4.7. And four. Clear. 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 It's 4.7 pounds. Very short, light, and crisp. Reset is very audible. Very short. Right there. Back into it. Very fun and very awesome. Nice little, neat little handgun. Um, very compact, uh, very small, very comfortable, and light actually, extremely light. Uh, I think this is, I forget how much it weighs in ounces, but the overall length of this whole entire gun is 6.2 inches. So, um, not a big gun at all. It's not uh, ambi at all, so no controls on this side at all. This is really a right handed shooter, period. It is a double action, single action for restrike, restrike capability. So whenever that first round does not go down range, you do have that double action. So that double action, which is very smooth also. All right. Very different compared to my security nine, of course. Completely different, actually. This gun is just way smaller mm -hmm. I do want to talk about the Blackhawk holster I do have this holster get a lot of hate because um, actually people are shooting themselves in the leg and vital arteries and taking themselves out which is very dangerous as far as my experience with at least my practice I've never been in a real gunfight so I can't say that or a stressful situation however when we draw from the holster, finger should be there. Finger should be there. So I have no problem with it actually. And yes, I bought two Black Hawk holsters because I just love this Black Hawk holster. Extremely comfortable. Simply throw this right over into your pant leg. And I mean, it just simply works. Simple as that. In my later videos, I'll be talking about the different ammunition that I like to carry. This is just a couple of them. This is the PDX1 Defender, 147 grain, 9mm. What's a gun without the critical defense? And of course, even though we're not on offense, we're on defense, the critical duty. And our Lord and Savior, the Spear Gold Dot. Can't get better than that. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about in the further videos, different holsters, different styles. I'm a heavy set guy, so these holsters are what work for me. Many people are different. This is the Elite Survival Holster. Pretty much cotton mesh all put together, but it works perfect. I even carry that appendix because when I'm at work, I can't have the clip even showing. So amazing gun I mean seriously and for the money I literally got this gun for let me see what 319 off the door so for a 9 millimeter the power of the 9 millimeter cartridge cartridge for 319 off the door this gun is just awesome and literally until you buy this gun you do not know how it feels in the hand it feels absolutely amazing in the hand. Absolutely amazing. And yeah, that's all guys. Look at my new Cabela's hat. Signed up for the membership. Cabela's is just amazing. Alright, before I go, I just want to do a shout out to Galloway Precisions and NDZ Performance. These people are absolutely amazing. Absolutely. These people have everything. 
I didn't customize my SD to the fullest. Not to the fullest, but it's getting there. Between Galloway Precisions and NDZ Performance, I'm about to have all my firearms looking absolutely amazing. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting me. Remember, every second counts. Exercise the Second Amendment and have a blessed day.